Hello folks, welcome to another Talk of the Town. I'm Tom Wright. And I'm Mo McNeary. We're so glad that you are stopping in and visiting with us during this, uh, what, 28.38 seconds or something? Something like that. Yeah, something and like that. This means you chose us over the Wheel of Fortune too, by the way, <laughs> we understand. And we appreciate that. <laughs> we are more entertaining than a wheel. I think we should talk like this. <laughs> That's how they talk on the wheel. Uh, do they? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> I watched the wheel for a long time. I haven't either because I watch this show. It like makes all me of feel in incompetent. Do. It's like watching Jeopardy. Are you good at oh, Jeopardy? Jeopardy? No, no. Yeah, I don't know. Where I don't was trust I? the game show. You have to ask, answer in a form of a question. <laughs> I don't get that. I don't trust it. Like, you don't? No. So you have a new house? I do, yes. Let's hear all about I it. I moved to Cannon Falls. I have a nice little three bedroom and a tucked away lot uh, okay. down there. And it's a nice little town, you know? It's, it's, yes, it but, Hastings. well, you know what you need to do is you need to get to the bottom of that other talk of the town show, that show that was copying us. That's have you, right. Have you? I have not gotten into digging. I've just put my kids' beds together, but I, that's next on yes, my to-do list. And make just, yourself known. Yes. In the town yes. of Cannon Falls. I'll let them know. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would do that. Yeah. yeah. I would do that. I have to tell you a story. I was driving here, and you know, in the olden days, I'm talking about we're now into our second year doing this show, which I'm so happy about. <laughs> but in the olden days, I used to bring my curling iron here, and I used to, you know, bring some extra makeup and things, you know, just uh -huh. to spruce myself up a little bit. And now I raced here. <laughs> I feel like this is what happens in a marriage where all of a sudden it's like, honey, you know, I just didn't shower, shower today. <laughs> and just like a good TV husband, I don't know what exactly. you call it, let's say, you look great, honey. You look great. You don't need the, all the curling iron and all that. Yeah. Anyway, Could have fooled me. Well, that's so nice. So anyway, so um, but my, my heart's in the right place, but I barely showered today. I'll just have you know, but I'll, it's all good. I'll admit, I did smell something, but yeah. I, it smells <laughs> not bad. I'm not going to say it's bad. Anyway, well, what is good about what's going on in the city? Anything good? Uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of good going on. Because you always have the scoop. Oh, psh, I depend yeah. upon you. Okay. Okay. Well, here we go. Excellent. I can't here wait. Here are the top headlines for you, Mo, and all you out there. Your news in over 30 seconds. First, the Hastings Chamber has found a new president. I'm sure you heard about this. Yes. Um, here she is, and she does have a name. Her name is Christy Bars, and Christy is from Apple Valley. She is a graduate of St. Kate's with degrees in business administration and marketing management. Both very good for the chamber, I'm sure. Right. So she's a looker and she's sharp. Very Those sharp. Are all great things. Uh, Christy was the business manager for the Apple Valley Chamber, and her first day running the Hastings Chamber is July 27th. And apparently her first order of business mm -hmm. is to is said to be lobbying Walmart to cut down on their stop signs, which oh. I completely support. Mm -hmm. And she will be thanking everyone for timing this out for after the Rivertown days. It's Can great. Imagine that. It's just wonderful. Yeah, that's good. I'd like her to out. get uh, Chick-fil-A. That's how they say Chick -fil it. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and I'd also like her to bring in Red Robin. Little Caesars for me. I, I, if she could bring in Little is Caesars. That, are there a Little Caesars in no, that's Apple gone. Valley? Apple See, I'm Valley. thinking about Apple. She knows she has a oh, pen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll have to lobby for those, too. Yeah. You may have noticed a, a new bike rack in downtown Hastings. It's the new AHA bike sharing program now in place under the bridge. You see that one? I have. Um, you can check out a Zaxter bike with just your smartphone if it's smart enough. But most of your phones should be smart enough by now. A Healthier Hastings for All, the City of Hastings, the United Way, and Alina Health all had a part in this. And you can ride these bikes for free, folks. That's Zero. unbelievable. Do they have any tandem bikes, do you think? You, that would be that would have been a genius idea. Because yeah, you and I, we... We could have had a talk of the town tandem <laughs> bike there. We'd have to charge for that, though. And they would pay. They would pay big for that, Mo. I'm sure they would. They it's would. It's a great idea. Who would not? Yeah. Um, if you uh, go beyond, let's see here. You just read, yeah, you just need to return them within four hours. Oh, you do? That's the deal. Okay. If you want to keep it free. Mm -hmm. But if you go beyond that, the bike will either self-destruct or just charge you $3 an hour. Kind of a fun little... Random self destruct, kind of like Cinderella shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Cinderella shoes in bike form. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. And after a ride, um, you know what, Mo, we could go on those ride, go on those bikes, go mm -hmm. on a ride. We can uh, enjoy some uh, dinner on a new patio now because now, have do you tell. heard? Do tell. Um, just down the street at the Bust and Nut and the Onion Grill both now have patio tables for patrons to enjoy right on the sidewalk. Love it. It's a pretty I'm cool all idea. for that. 
Uh, yeah, the city had to change an ordinance recently to allow these new sidewalk cafes and the restaurants just need to provide four feet of space for the foot traffic. And okay. uh, apparently some people in Hastings are four feet wider. I don't know. Well, I suppose side by side, you know, three people can take up some room too. Who goes three by three? Usually it's two by two. Two by two. <laughs> you never know. Have we you read be, the Bible? We need to look out for the three people. <laughs> I'm not here to judge. <laughs> Could be two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. okay. Anyway, <laughs> how that got there, I don't know. Um, <laughs> or they also have to provide a barrier around the patrons if serving alcohol. Oh, so that's a another deal. barrier around them. Yeah. I but wonder. if they're serving this okay. guy, Dan Massman, oh. they must have another <laughs> barrier and a warning no sign. No doubt. No. Probably some plastic. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Would be safe. <laughs> And those are the headlines. You are now informed. I love it. Well, I tell you what, we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we are going to go to River Town Days and have some fun. Hey, guys, welcome to Local Chords. I'm Michael Campa, and we're here at the Coliseum for the stalls. Welcome back to Talk of the Town. It is now time to take you to a great annual tradition here in town called River Town Days. Nice. You see how that worked out? We are smooth. Step right up. Step right up. All right. We have all kinds of information here for you. We have more information customers here at the information booth. Now this is, I'm guessing your age. Did you know this is a, also one of those places? And then I guess um, what the names of your dog is. What's my middle name? Oh. Uh, don't tell me. It is Marie. No. It's Anne. No. Catherine. <laughs> Joseph. No. What's your first name? Gianna. 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 Gianna Anna. Am I even close? Should we move on to the dog's name? Would you? Yeah. Uh, Sparky. <laughs> Lovey. Peanut. No. Do you have a schedule of events? No. There you go. Everything you need to know. And what was your middle name, by the way? Rose. Oh. That was going to be my Why next one. I know that. Yeah. That goes beautifully. It was named because of Grandma Rose, I bet. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to quit while I'm behind. This is the information booth. How can we help you? I would like to know how to find some delicious mini donuts. Oh, for crying out loud. Sir, are you. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm also going to show you, you where the optometrist is. And then <laughs> What's the talk of the town? The talk of the town? It's got to be Rivertown Days. Right. You know, all the activity going on. I guess the water ski show is coming up a little later. and. It's always an interesting event. We have a customer here at the information booth because we not only do we give information, but we also give merchandise. Have a great All right, that will be just fifty dollars. Thank you. Stop it. What, what are you buying, sir? Two buttons. Two buttons. Ten dollars. You cool? Where I was off a little bit. Sorry. What kind of information can we provide here at the information booth? What year of Rivertown Days is this? As far as the anniversary? It's the thirty-seventh. Or 36, I'm not sure. Well, it was close, yeah. I gotta tell you, this is the talk of the town right here. You know who's standing here with us? It is the new chamber president of the Hastings Area Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Bureau, Christy Bars, and she is recently uh, hired for the great city of Hastings. We're so glad that you're here. Well, thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here, and I know I'm feeling very big shoes with Michelle leaving. Uh, she was here for 25 years. She did a wonderful job, but uh, the city is on the brink of some really exciting changes, and I'm so a part of, I'm so excited to be a part of it. Well, we're so excited that you're a part of it. You know what? We never have breaking news on Talk of the Town, so this is very exciting. This is awesome for us. What is the Talk of the Town for you? Well, the t well so um, for me personally, we just bought a house in town, so we're getting used to that. And um, I start officially on the 27th, and I'm, I'm just excited to, to go uh, both feet in and, and really um, get to know anyone, st start meeting members, and start to, to get to know our community. All right, gentlemen. So uh, tell me, what kind of information do you need? And you could ask us anything. How long has it been going on? The Rivertown days? Uh, two days now. How many years? Oh, 37 years. We're going to go with that. Any other questions? Like, what's the coolest video game out there right now? Anything like that? What is the coolest video game out there? I'm so glad you asked. Super Mario 3. 
What's the talk of the town to you? The talk of the town is I'm a volunteer at the Hastings YMCA. I've been working with all kinds of kids. I work at kids stuff, youth development, youth night. And yesterday I did theater camp. The YMCA. What's the rest of it? Something about. I wanted to see you go YMCA. That's the best. You need to bloody rehearse for this. Look at it. We have our friends, Black Dirt Theater here at the information booth. Black Dirt Theater is an organization. These people are people. What are you saying? They're not friends, and what are they, Mo? What we're saying, Mr. Mr. Wright, this time is slightly wrong. Is that Mo is as much Black Dirt as I am, and so are you. Any information that you've been dying to get that we could provide you here at the information booth. Oh, the information booth? What is the exact start time of the parade tomorrow? Oh, I, will, I know, I know. It is at noon. 12 o'clock military time. Awesome. You guys are very helpful. Oh, yes. Let's get that on camera. Nobody ever says that to us. Happy Rivertown Days! Just ignore her. That's what I do. Happy Rivertown Days! I think they should rename it the misinformation booth, but yeah, it's just that would be me. more accurate. But. Yes, you know who is, um, uh, she is Miss Everything to me, and I'm so glad we have in studio with us today Janet Letness Martin, who is um, just a very, very accomplished woman, and I want to, I don't want to lead with your jello credentials. So. No, no, so, you don't have to. No. But we so, still want to give you credentials for your job. Oh yeah, well, yes. talk about that, yes. So of course, um, the author of, uh, the co-author of Growing Up Lutheran, which has been a springboard for the church basement, church basement ladies. ladies. And then also, yep. yes, and then also, you are the co-author of a book called Lemonade for the Lawn Boy with our friend David Cook. And both of these actually are they opened within six days of one another as musicals. Tell us about that, Janet. Oh, that was a lot of work, but a lot of fun. And um, the Church Basement Ladies is actually the 10th anniversary special that's back because we opened 10 years ago with the first one. And then we had a sequel and another sequel. Well, you keep going, you know, if you have a success. So finally we had five, five of them. And then they went on road trips, and over 3 million people have seen it. They've been in every state of the Union. So we're really proud of that and really um, excited that Kurt Wallen, the director of it, decided to do it. So that's been a lot of fun. And Lemonade for the Lawn Boy is a book I wrote uh, with David Cook, an artist from Hastings. A lot of you have probably seen his big flowers on the river and his art installations. And... Greta Grosch is a scriptwriter of that musical that opened at the Minnetonka Theater. And Greta is also, it's all in the family. She also is a scriptwriter for Church Basement Ladies and plays one of the characters. So She does, and she's reprising that role, isn't she? Was she one of the original ladies? She's one of the originals, and she's back again, yes. Love it. Yes, and so we opened that in eight days. Well, you know, it's just kind of fun to have a lot of excitement, and then, Gosh. you know, your family comes to town to see you one, they can see you two, and you there can you kill go. two birds with one stone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> where, did all this, where did all this excitement and uh, stone throwing start? Where, where when did you uh, get into writing? Was it something when, as a young girl, writing in your You know, diary? I did some writing. I liked it. Yeah, fourth grade, I won. I, you know, I recited the poem Jonathan Bing and won. <laughs> and then I wrote when I was in high school and won some awards. Um, I've never had a writing class in my life. I took oh. one speaking class in um, college or one speech class. But oh, I just always liked to write, and I always looked at the light side of life, and it just came about. Now I have co-authored 17 books, and it's just one of those things. You know, I grew up on a farm, and um, we were told to work hard, improve ourselves, and so that's the avenue I took, and everybody worked for themselves, so you just made do and did it. Well, Janet, yeah. now, but this book, why does it resonate with everybody? <laughs> okay. Because the, the church basement ladies, every church has basement ladies. Yeah. They're not necessarily yeah. in the basement anymore, but it's something that is, it just everybody finds these plays well, funny. Well, when we wrote this, we first workshop, workshopped it in Grand Rapids and then went to St. Cloud, Minnesota. And you know St. Cloud is 90% Catholic, Catholic right. and German. So we thought if it's a hit there, right. it's going to work. Mm -hmm. And what and does workshopping mean? Well, you take it out of town and then get the kinks out, see what people laugh at and what, okay. what they don't. And then the women walked out and they were laughing and they said, we have the same Mary and Martha's in right. our church. Right. 
even though it took place in a Norwegian Lutheran church, mm -hmm. it still resonates and because we made it, we made it so that the characters are in all churches. The mm -hmm. oldest lady who wants nothing to change and runs a kitchen. Then you got the youngest one pushing all the buttons, the young girl. And then you got a farm lady and then the mother of the, we had the mother of the young girl she clicked her on her in her high heels. You know you had those kind of fancy ones in your church too, even yeah. in the country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. you yeah. I pushed maybe my you hands yeah. up yeah. and yeah. get yeah. in yeah. I can think of one. Yeah. Yeah. I just made a casserole. <laughs> <laughs> no, you made a hot dish. Oh yeah. Um, what is the difference, please, between a casserole and a hot dish? Well, a casserole is actually a dish. What now? It's actually a physical dish you oh. put a hot dish in. Oh, um, and I've heard, I don't want you to, you're very humble, so you won't say this, but you've actually judged jello contests before. Well, yeah, Can you that's talk kind about of fun. That? Well, I tell people to be creative, and some of them okay. are, some of them aren't. Some of them just put a bunch of expensive um, ingredients in. So, you know, I just kind of get up there and say they're showing off, you know? Right. And then some people do these elaborate little layered things that right. takes three days and right. they have too much time on their hands and <laughs> you know you just figure out you know <laughs> boy, boy. yeah yeah well i'll tell you what um I, I don't, we don't need jello questions i don't think but uh are you ready for some well there was five? everyday jello which is one box of red jello <laughs> jello four crowd was four boxes of red jello jello stretching you add a little bit more water in case you don't think there's enough to go around right and their favorite kind of was company jello, jello which is one large bowl of red jello with one banana floating around the top oh. <laughs> and you put whipped cream on it for company and the banana looked like it was dissected you know and they cut it in there yeah <laughs> so, so well with that let's move on we have a fun uh, segment for you called the tot five oh, where the we top ask you five, five oh, questions dear. yes we dig a little deeper here oh dear so we're going to cue the lights here and Oh the dear. Tone. Oh yes. Put me in the spotlight. In interrogation mode. Well, you know, then you're going to see the wrinkles on my face like my <laughs> sister said. You got more crow's feet on your face than a crow, she said. So. <laughs> I don't see it. You look great. Oh, thank you. You, you need glasses, great. I think. All right. First question. Fun fact. Did you know that Winston Churchill, he was born in a ladies room during a dance? Question for you is, where were you born? Oh. I was born in St. John's Hospital in Fargo, North Dakota. It was a Catholic hospital, so the mm. nuns baptized me first, but then I got rebaptized Lutheran. Later on, I had some Mormon relatives, and they rebaptized the Mormon. I'm covered. You are, you are covered. <laughs> You're good to go. Um, this question is Do you have a growing up Lutheran or a church basement ladies tattoo? Do I have one? Well, uh, there is a Lutheran tattoo put out by old Lutheran. It's Luther's Rose. Oh. No, we don't do tattoos. Okay. The, the tattoo I have is my smallpox vaccination. <laughs> we had smallpox vaccination. That was a trend, wasn't it? That was a trend. Well, yeah, they did. And then there's little dots and everybody. My age is smallpox Was that just before vaccine. the tribal That's my trend? tattoo. And then now that I'm on medication and my skin starts to bruise these are tattoos yeah, that's, they're, yeah, they're yeah. Great. that's my tattoos yeah i've been wanting to ask this question ever since we your name came up because i've heard this one earlier are you the mother of logan martin no okay <laughs> i've got three daughters no boys no boys <laughs> we're all women in my family well, i had three sisters that. i have three daughters and i have six granddaughters we are strong women but i do have a new <laughs> New one, and he's a grandson, so oh. I'm, and he's adorable. Yeah, is his I'm, name Logan? His name is Martin. Oh, Martin. Yeah, his name okay. is Martin. Oh, Martin. Yeah. Uh, That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you were stranded on a desert island and left with only one hot dish, what dish would it be? One hot dish. Well, I guess my favorite, and it's not really Lutheran, is that Cedric Adams hot dish that's so easy to make. Cabbage, onion, tomato soup, and hamburger. Oh, that's my huh. favorite. Yeah, it is. Yum. Yeah, sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. A little red sauce, and then we don't go for a whole lot of red sauce. No, it's too spicy. As Scandinavians, yeah, it's too salt and pepper is enough. But <laughs> you use a can of tomato soup. It isn't bad. <laughs> Final question here for you: If you were trapped in a theater that had one play running over and over and over again for 24 hours, which play would you want that to be? Besides. 
what well, besides? Basement. Yes. Besides church basement, ladies yes. and lemonade for the lawn yes. boy? Oh, I guess my favorite is Fiddler on the Roof. Oh. Yeah, I love Fiddler on the Roof. Yeah. Great story. Yeah. I haven't seen that one. You, you haven't, haven't seen, seen Fiddler, Fiddler on, on the, the Roof? roof? No. Jake's. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you the, been? Yeah. Punch the other or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> well, you survived. Thank you very much, Jack. Well, I always survive. Yeah. You yeah. do survive, yeah. and we're so glad that you came in to chat with well, us today. Well, this was fun. This well, was fun. You're fun. And again, um, how Sometime can... I'll sit in that chair and interview you more. Oh, well, that would be great fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I actually think I will. Really love that. I think I will. Um, Janet, how can people get tickets to um, Church Basement Lady still? Okay, um, PlymouthPlayhouse.com. Okay. Great. Or 763-553. 1600. Wonderful. Nice. And, it's, and it's running until November. I love it. Great. And then there might be something else in the fire, but I can't say anything. And oh. then we're trying to get lemonade for the lawn boy down in Hastings. We'll, we'll make that happen. I love it. Shortly. Well, thank you for coming thank in today. Thank you for having and, me here. Um, don't yes. miss either of these plays if you have an opportunity, musicals if you have an opportunity to see them. Just thank great. you. Thank, thank you. you all. Take care. Yeah. We will be right back. It's uh, one of my favorite times of the show. What a crock. It is. I'll, I'll put it that way, Marlon. Well, I am so glad because, yes, indeed, this segment is called What a Crock. Uh. And we're so happy this month because on our show, of course, we have Janet Martin. Yes. Who is, the, uh, she's a fabulous author, and you heard all about all the books that she has written. But, of course, she's most known for being Lutheran. I think. Oh, that, yes. Yeah, because she leads with that in her description. Don't you know? And so we thought in honor of her, we would actually cook something in the crock pot that is a hot dish. A hot dish. Oh, yeah. I love hot, hot dishes. Dish. Not a casserole, but a hot dish. Yes. So, uh, and there is no f uh, better hot dish than tater tot hot dish. Mm, yes. Did yes. you ever have hot dishes growing up? Yeah, that was good. You did? Good stuff. I casseroles think, what did your mom uh, make i don't know what it was it's like a lot of everything my mom got a little creative too so it she was, did yeah. i love it well i tell you what we are just going to throw our ingredients in like we do because of course it's a crock pot so That's for this um i am too i'm going to say time pressed i'm so busy but i'm actually too lazy <laughs> brown hamburger and so i am just taking regular old beef meatballs there you go. and we're going to throw some in but before we do that we're going to make up some juice so we have two cans of sliced tomato all right uh stewed sliced two you know i noticed we don't have the plastic we're not doing the uh, safe crock pot you know anymore. i don't know how lutherans feel about that so we're just going to let that be okay yeah mm -hmm. okay so two cans of those just go ahead and throw those juice in juice and everything right yep juice well, and everything and while you're anyway. doing that um, I'm going to uncover this. Um, this is cream of mushroom soup, which I actually was at a restaurant about a week ago. And I said, what is your soup of the day? And they said, cream of mushroom. I said, cream of mushroom. I thought that was an ingredient. I didn't know that was. <laughs> that was actual soup. People eat that stuff on its own. What the heck? Okay, so look at how great this looks. So this is, um, so we have one can of cream and mushroom yep. soup. We have two of those little cans. We like right. to kick things up here, don't we, baby? Yes, we do. Oh, yeah. So we put some garlic in. You know what? We could use a big one or we could use a small one. Let's use a big one. Let's go for it. Use a big one. Go all the way. Yes, and I'm going to stir this um, because the cream of mushroom oh. soup, I don't know what makes it like that, but it's kind of congealy. Oh, this is going to be great. Yeah, now let's throw some of these babies in. Not all too right. many, but... Um, put some meatballs in. Put some meatballs in. Yeah, let's see enough. how that... I would say... Uh, let's do a couple more. Yeah. Thank you. Look at you. Look at that. You are doing great. Okay, then we're going to put in... Two cups of cheese. Now you could use any cheese, but I'm going to keep it more. Looks like real long on the mozzarella cheese here. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's using a new phrase. I just learned it. <laughs> no, no. See, we should measure oh. it if we're going to do cups. Well, you know what we've done? You this know what? So many times we can eyeball things now. I think. Well, right? you know, your fist probably is a cup. Do you know this? Okay. Yeah. So put in one of your fist. Okay. Just stick it in the bag. Oh my gosh. Here, let's do, let's use this. And remember how we do it over this in case we have spillage. 
Yep. Or whatever. That's good. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's Keep good. Studio clean. Okay. There we go. There's one. We need two. Oh, we need two. Yeah. All right. <laughs> one plus Play one. Play along okay. at home. There we go. <laughs> One, this is like Barney. Here we go. One, <laughs> and two. Okay, that's good. I love you. Okay, yes. You love me. You right. do. That's so nice. I'm married, you know. Now I got that song. Anyway, so we're going to stir this baby up. Oh, look how this yeah, is that's, looking. That now, really looks good. What is, it can't be tater tot. I got to be honest with you. At first, I was like, I don't know, this is turning out. But now with that cheese, that's. Tater tot hot dish, good. though. Tater oh, tater tots. tots, of course. So here's tots what we're going to do. So we are going to um, stir this up and be sure that everything is coated. One moment, please. Don't rush our tater tots. That's the, um, that's the final ingredient. Okay, let's pop them on there now. Now, if you were... Okay, now. All right. <laughs> I'm so I, can, I got all day. I got all day. Well, you know what? We don't because it's <laughs> Ross's birthday. He's oh, that's right. Happy birthday, Ross. <laughs> he's on his way to not the old country buffet. Where were they going? 25 and single, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> okay, Ladies. not too many. Here. Oh, this is great. A couple more. Sorry couple about more. that. Yes. All right. Hold on. Let's get these in here enough to cover this. And then um, look at this. All right. So go. now we have our tater tots on top. And now we put this on. And that's it. Voila. We're done. Yeah, we're Boom. done. It's, it's, so then now you can go about your business. And this should cook on low probably about four hours because most of this stuff is already cooked. Yeah. So, so four hours later. Still got to wait four hours. Have to wait four hours. Yeah. What a crock. Well, it is Nothing. what it is. <laughs> yes. It is what it is. So you know what? Please enjoy this no matter what your religion is. And yes. um, we hope that we did our Lutheran friends proud with this hot dish. Tater tot hot dish. And that's Can't it for us it. today. My name is Mo. And I'm Tom. And this show is called Talk, Talk of, of the, the Town. Town. Very good. <laughs> See you next it. time. <laughs>